regardless, but if Kibzu wins the remainder of his sets, then that would be streaks out of things. But if he can beat Peli, then that would completely reverse everything. So Parry not quite going to land anything off of it, but still out here, forcing the juggling scenario. Oh, the Corto <laughs> going all the way down. Streaks narrowly avoiding it, but he's not managed to get a hit on deck. I think we need to see a bit more Blaster just because it can reflect the Gordos as well as doing damage. <laughs> like, yeah, using it defensively there, but just mm. there we go. The neutral air will be the first hit from Streaks onto Pally instead. And he makes it back onto the stage with a reverse scenario now, forcing him into the ledge trap. But unfortunately, Gordo gonna force him out of that. Oh, shields though on the up smash, so that's a chance for Streaks to get something going. Uh, yeah, you Ooh. can also reflect the Gordo with an actual reflector. And that was very good awareness with the angle it was sent at. Because mm. most characters, with stuff like that and like Fire Hydrant, most people can tell it's coming back. Or Pelly can always tell it's coming back when it goes straight at him. But sending it from above can't de definitely call him off guard. It's like sometimes you've got to think, you know, we were talking earlier about how Lucretio had to be more conscious of his gyro usage because Mr. Gamewatch had a reflector. When you're King Dedede, everyone has a reflector yeah. against your key projectile. And the Wolves have very good up smashes, putting Pellied suddenly in great danger. Mm. Streaks has brought this all the way back. Even percentage, but forcing the offstage scenario, and what Dedede does best is ledge wrapping, and not gonna quite take it, but still, having to get off ledge, having to get through this labyrinth Ooh. that is this ledge trap, is always very difficult. And Pelly taking the first stop with that F tilt. Yes, just about. I think he was expecting the neutral air to send the Gordo back, but the back air will instead take away Pelly's stock. This is really even already, and I'm enjoying this from the very first stock onwards. Mm. Just an amazing set from two amazing players. But still, <laughs> he just swallowed the Gordo, and then I guess he choked on it? Yeah, he got shot while he was busy <laughs> inhaling the Gordo. So it's like, yeah. If you shoot me while I'm trying to have my full English breakfast, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spit it out exactly. But Ooh, anyway, GDD surviving the down smash at like 80 percent. First stock we saw Pelly do one to a hundred without getting hit. Now we see Streaks doing one to a hundred without getting hit. This is crazy stuff. He's been using Blaster way more, and that's forcing an approach from Pelly rather than sitting back with Gordo. And as a result, since he's holding stage control, it just forces Pelly to approach. And against the insane normals that Wolf has, it's very difficult for DDD to get in, I'd assume. Yeah, so sure enough, as we go into the Pelly's final stop for this game, he's started to find somewhat of his footing here. Oh, definitely is. This is another big combo. What a momentum-based game right now. Momentum-wise, it's like a goddamn seesaw. It's going back and forth. That Up. is such a big roll! It wasn't used for any practical purpose, but it just covered like half of Smashville with that. Here we have it, the famous DDD ledge trap scenario with Gordo, but getting hit by Gordo is way better than getting hit by Pelly in that scenario, but... Especially if the jet hammer's coming out. The worst. That hips below ledge as well, and can shield break. It's finally a good move mm. after all this time. And here we have Case it. Case in point, it will get the KO. I thought the Gordo might send him back, but it just, sent, it just added to that knockback and sent him straight out. Well, here we have it. Halen just missing and then a, a forward smash in the other direction just to remind you. Oh, you know, Don't I'll, I'll, I'll try and get a read on you at some point in this game. And when it does hit, you will have hurt. your soul shot. You will have your soul shot. It is guaranteed. Oh, the Gordo actually got the glancing blow. Mm. You heard the sound effect. It just clipped Wolf but didn't do any damage. It wasn't quite close enough. <gasps> oh, the hard read on the jump after running into a shield, but unfortunately not going to land it. And just shoots the Gordo a little bit too high so that it doesn't actually go back into King Dedede's face. If it did, it would have put him in a terrible spot. But the back air is going to take it. It's even more terrible for Pelly as Streaks takes game one, which is so critical with the set drop to Kibzu earlier. He needed this. There was some amazing awareness from Streaks in that set. And I know I say that about a lot, but generally he just walked up. He just would walk up to his shield or walk up to him after hitting him and wait to see what he did. Wait, like, not even just wait, but he'd know that he would jump. It's like insane, the read that he's getting. Such an intelligent player, and we'll no doubt see yet more of that as we go into one heck of a stacked pools match. Indeed. Back to Smashville, we go. Yeah, at um, Pelly's choice, I, I guess, just because the Gordo kind of bounces between the platform and the stage, it kind of takes out two options at once. 
True. And ledge trapping without any other platforms to jump to. Is somewhat scary. But here we have it. Ellie holding stage control at the moment, but Streaks finds his way in. Rolls into the blaster though, but kind of pays it no heed and just carries on regardless. The jet hammers on deck, he goes for the oh jump my. one. What a big read, but it didn't pay off. It didn't reprimand him mm. either though. Gets away with it. The tech on that, Jesus, that was amazing. Brilliant stuff from both players just to stay in the game right now. There's not even been a minute yet. Oh, narrowly grabbing the ledge from the depths of the blast zone. Very, very good awareness. Oh, I like the attempt from Pelly because he was trying to jab his shield and then wait for him to like roll in or react with it, but could not quite cast streaks with that. But speaking that of casting streaks, as well, so big, managing to keep contact forward tilt, not enough, but that's a turn around to say the least. Getting the neutral on the jar on the Gordo, nearly call it a gyro there. King Diddy is gonna throw away. He doesn't have any kill throws to speak of, but it all gets characters off stage for those ledge traps and eventually that ledge trap will give Peli the first stock in game two. It definitely is something to see. Ooh, the juggle scenario here gonna be racking up quite a lot of damage but unfortunately Streaks isn't quite just willing to let himself just get juggled so as a result back to stage we go. And Ooh. the up air into the into the skies he goes. Landing on our screens here at VG Bootcamp hmm. and Getting straight back into Blaster. You know, Blaster, quite objectively, a better move than Gordo. <laughs> Indeed. It just, it does everything. It's, I, I can't remember what type of projectile it is, but I know it goes through certain other projectiles. As a result. It's like, how much do you feel if you're Peli when Gordo is kind of your best move and then the opponent just has a straight up better projectile than that? Definitely. As alongside all of his other moves as well. Mm, it definitely is something to say the least. That was a really good trap, though, from Peli, forcing Streaks to air dodge past the Gordo, and instead just goes straight into another follow-up from Peli. Mm. But there we go, the Gordo not favoring him. There, he tries the two-frame with the forward tilt, but the down smash will do it instead. Indeed. Streaks regains the lead. I thought that move shield broken, but would have shield broken, but not quite like Bowser's, when he's, at least when he's landing. Above. Yeah, Diddy rated a little bit less than Bowser, and maybe even DK. But uh, certainly one of those big heavies, nonetheless, that can mm. cause danger to any unprepared opponent. Narrowly avoiding that F tilt and managing to make it back onto stage. What's he going to do here? How's he going to work with this? Ooh, He's going to just jump off the stage and miss the ledge. Unfortunate, but still with the lead. Yeah, that's what we've got to remind ourselves at the end of the day. That was a huge choke with that jump off stage SD. But Streak's still quite far in the lead, all oh. things considered. Indeed. I thought we might see a forward back air there, but he just immediately catches it. The super armor on the up, he just doing all the work for him. That was yeah. amazing. That would have been the end for any other character that doesn't have super armor on their up B. DDD living, but with a heck of a lot of extra damage on deck. And the upper keeping him in the air. Gordo coming down though, and the back air is going to seal it out. The crowd notably, noticeably tense over the set. <laughs> and, uh, well, there's there's a signature chant for streaks we have here in the UK. Streaks, streaks. streaks. But I'm well, Pelly doesn't really have one, bless him. But uh, mm. Pelly, <laughs> <laughs> we don't quite have a Pelly chant, but maybe we could work on it. We certainly did at uh, Albion three last year when he was the only UK representative left. Damn. He uh, he basically just inherited all of the UK's chants specifically for himself. Mm. Hash Browns, please, being <laughs> one of them. Just channeled the power of the UK through him. So here we have it. Is this game three? Yeah, 1-1 one, one as well. And it's, you, you want to call two it even, but it's not been even. It's, oh yeah, two out streaks. It's, it's, it's like been so tense. I've been so focused on the actual match. I, it's hard to keep track of the actual score. Every interaction matters, every interaction counts. So it's hard oh. to focus on the overall big picture. If you're Kibzu, you've got to be cheering for Peli right now. Because that's putting his own spot in the top eight in danger. But here we have it. Streaks managing to get back off ledge and just... But still, in noticeable danger. Peli's not quite willing to give, let him give him a free pass back to stage yet. He has to buy that train to get home. He has to earn it. King Dedede's back air is one of those moves that's so hard to land, but Peli will reliably get it almost every time and give you that fresh 20%. Ooh, almost called it out with a down smash, but unfortunately not quite just missing the end like for it. 
Right, just sticking under that platform, forcing Wolf to approach. Of course, Wolf could just throw out a blaster at any moment, but he elects not to. That big forward tilt scooping him back and away again. It's always positioned to cover both get up and roll, so the only option is jump, and in that case, he'll be ready for it. Because mm. Gordo's up go. there. Gordo's up there to catch the jump. And then down on the ground to cover the other two options is. Oh, that's one way pass! Mm. Wolf flash into the Gordo, gets Pelly out of the way, and the up and smash, up smash takes is the first. 186%. Any move from any move from DDD will kill at this percent. And again, it's so close, but this also means that Streak is winning the game in what could be a 3-0. Apparently not any moves. In fact, oh! we're not gonna take it. Double Gordo, 33% taken. This just happens to King DDD sometimes. When you play one of those lower tier characters, yeah, you're at the mercy of your own weaknesses sometimes. Honestly, insane. 209% on deck. She's playing incredibly patient, but unfortunately just getting caught out by Pelly's Nan. Pelly's might be back in the game, but Streaks is definitely not giving him that ticket back. And you know, Pelly, we think he's already safely through to the top eight, but this will affect his seeding. And if Ford him, Kimzu and Streaks can all go three and one, maybe it's not quite solidified yet. Mm. So Pelly needs to at least get some games on the board first. Indeed. Still though, even in stocks. Just a shootout in the Wild West there. Take stages, take either side of the stage and throw your things. And it is the gun that won out there. And the up smash, catching the jump out of shield, that awareness from Streaks. Well, he's got a whole stock. He's got a whole stock left to work with, but two stocks left to take. The How's he gonna manage it? I actually think I can hear Kibzu cheering for Streaks, despite that disadvantage he would gain from it. Mm. Well, that's a good sport. But right now, Pelly looking to get towards the center of the stage once again to get things started on Streaks, because he's got more than ever a comeback to be making right now on his final stock of this set, potentially. Honestly, just the insane amount of pressure he's putting on at the moment. Offstage scenario. <gasps> Just sending that right back, saying, I don't care, we're playing tennis right now, whether you like it or not. Oh, just Falling one out of the forward tilt. Hitting oh. him with the handle, but Pelly needs to get a handle on this stock right about now if he's to take the set. Oh, almost landing the back air, but oh, getting oh. attacked himself. That's the up smash, not gonna no take way. it. Neither will the Gordo hit. Suddenly, you know, King DDD lacking in kill power. That's not something we ever expected to say, but the back air doesn't do it either. Not a single hit is taking it. Or the forward tilt. Every King single DDD hit can't is out kill, here. Apparently. The wall flash, very good awareness from that. But not enough on this occasion. It gets shielded and the big hit. Right now, Pelly needs to come up with something special to take this very important stock. Definitely got a mountain to climb here if he's going to get back into it. Reflecting the god away, can't be asked. Hitting away with actual attacks, just get rid, not interested. Streaks wants to keep center stage, hold his lead before mm. just a needs big a ledge trap, he's got no jump. As soon as he gets knocked the stage, that's Pelly's huge opening to rack up the damage. As we're seeing here, 87% on the deck. The it's Gordo beating you know? out. Stuck in inhale though, that's gonna give Streaks a free pass back to the stage. He wants a two frame, but the super arm would prevent Pelly from being KO'd in the process. Oh, Gordo bouncing off of the shield, preventing him from getting the ledge free grab punished. The grab, off stage situation, how's Pelly gonna seal this one out? How Can Streaks, Streaks get back? Get off the ledge, he's not on this occasion. Drop down with we'll flash. flash though. Oh, the back air! His back air takes it! Just about. with a 3-0 on Pelly, the top seed of this pool and possibly one of the top two seeds for the whole event.